<clears throat> so, what's up, guys? A uh, quick review slash video. Um, if you guys haven't seen my live review for One Piece chapter eight fifty five title growl, definitely check it out and come back and watch this, or you can just watch this. But either way, I'm just gonna be covering a few things in this video. Um. First and foremost, Brooke got the fucking um, Poneglyph copies. <laughs> I did not think he could have done it. I did not think he could have done it. A um, couple questions for this chapter. <clears throat> uh, what did Bobbin do to uh, his comrades? All we saw was he was walking away and then they were just asleep. Well, I want to say asleep, but probably unconscious on the ground. That was it. And he's off to fix whatever situation that he thinks he's going to fix with Sanji and Luffy. Now, no telling how that's going to end up because Luffy's going to have food in his stomach. So, no t no telling about that. Uh, going into Big Mom. That bitch grabbed the fuck out of that son. Uh, she pulled it out of the sky. It reminded me of uh, White Bear. When White Bear grabbed the ear, she grabbed the shit out of that son. <laughs> she grabbed that son like it was his only purpose. <laughs> Which it is. <laughs> but either ways, um, continuing. Uh, it's safe to say that Sanji and Luffy, those are going to escape because everyone else is in the mirror world. Only thing left to do is to grab Sanji and Luffy. And we already know how the mirror world works by just basically showing the picture or asking where they are. So, I'm guessing um, Namido's next move is to find Luffy, though. And I'm guessing someone or Nami probably might have an idea of where he might be. So, I'm guessing we might find that out in the next chapter. Um, what else? Oh, now, so far in this whole cake island, Capone, Caesar, and Packham has been missing. Don't know where they are. Um, would love to find out where they are. If you guys have an idea, let me know in the comment section. Uh, and <clears throat> what else? What else? What else about this chapter? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This chapter is like pretty, pretty funny. Like, really, really, really funny. Uh, everyone's reaction to uh, to Brooke when they found out that he had all the copies of the Poneglyph and how surprised they were. Me, myself, were too. So, yeah. Um, I was going to ask where the Vince smokes during all of this, but I'm guessing they're probably home on their ship. But what will they do when they find out that uh, Big Mom was going to kill them from the beginning? Like, I'm sure at some point in time, they're going to find out that Big Mom had in, <clears throat> had intentions of not honoring their deal through the marriage. Well, they had plans, but not similar to Big Mom. Big Mom was just going to kill them and take it. But I'm wondering what they're going to do with that. Um, maybe they'll serve as a, a distraction for when Luffy those are escaping. No telling. No telling. And where, I want to say where Caesar is during all of this. Or which part of the island is he on? Because Luffy, those are running amok on island. I don't even know how Big Mom fell asleep during all of this. But, mm -hmm, I think that's about it. Real quick video. Uh, since Sanji is not, I'm guessing, since, he, since he's not going to cooperate with the terms of the marriage, there's no marriage while Big Mom is dreaming of cake. <coughs> Once you wake up tomorrow. I'm guessing she's going to kill everything in sight. So again, since Sanji isn't going to isn't into the marriage anymore, Big Mom's plans went through the window and the Vince Smoke's plans went through the window. So I'm wondering what's going to happen. I'm wondering what's going to fucking happen. And I wonder where Bobbin is going. And where the fuck are the Vince Smoke brothers? Questions, 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 questions. I definitely uh, expected more for this chapter, especially with the title Growl. And I said it reminded me of uh, uh, Rizo from um, Yu Yu Hakusho, Yusuke's dad, because uh, he didn't eat human flesh, so his stomach would growl and it would sound like a thunder almost. But hmm, what else? I think that's about it. Real funny chapter. Real funny chapter. Um, if you guys enjoyed as much as I did, definitely uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. But other than that, thanks for watching.